Let's stay on the road right now, okay? Because this is something that's really new. It's exciting for a lot of people. Harley Davidson unveiled its new electric motorcycle today. Arthur Chien is live in Tribeca. Arthur, you got a chance to check it out, you lucky dog. You, you really had a good time today. I know you're going to feel that way, Ernie, as somebody who's been riding for 30 years yourself. But yeah. we figured this would also interest New Yorkers out there who would love to just get around tra traffic and find parking anywhere easily without having to pray to the parking ferries. You know who you are out there, right? Well, Harley Davidson, no, known for its tradition of bikes today, making news with this bike with its innovation, runs fully on electric. As you said, we got to ride it this afternoon. And to put it simply, it was not for us just another day at the office. Sometimes being a newscaster is tough. This ain't one of those days. As Harley Davidson unveiled Project Livewire, their first electric motorcycle, Fox 5 got on for a maiden voyage test drive. Head tingling with excitement, butterflies in my stomach, we got geared up and took off, attracting plenty of curiosity wherever we went. The prototype rides smoothly, even on pothole filled New York City streets. And there are no gears. The throttle under my right hand controls everything. Pickup, we found, is fast. Zero to 60 in four seconds. And for the record, we didn't go over 30 miles per hour, Mayor de Blasio. Distance, however, is an issue. Range of 40 miles per charge right now, and a recharge takes about three hours. And listen to the startup here. You may notice a major difference from the typical Harley. Whisper mode, the trademark Harley muffler sound, is gone. There's a low-level worrying sound instead. From a safety standpoint, many riders depend on muffler noise for drivers to take notice. Hitting that throttle, you feel um, that people are going to hear you coming. With this, they're not. You need the noise, especially with the cab drivers. Harley CMO Mark Hans Richter says it's a work in progress and that the feedback they get now will help them tweak their electric bike before it goes to market. It's all about the feedback we get from customers, what they're looking for, and whether that's something we can design for them. They, they could say, I wanted to go to here, and, here to Sturgis on one charge and bring um, you know, my, uh, my partner and, and 100 pounds of gear. It might be hard to solve that technologically. So we're going to have to get, hear what they have to say, and, and then we'll take it from there and see how we go. Well, Ricker acknowledges they've got a lot of work to do on this, but considering this is so new, they really are doing quite a good job so far. He says that if this does go to market, it's something that is going to be available for purchase in about two to three years. So it's going to be a little bit. But I'll tell you, Ernie, the fact that you can go to zero to 60 just by twisting this without having to shift any gears, that might be a really big selling point. Uh, We're it, live in Tribeca. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News. Ernie, who's going to have to look for parking later on today. Absolutely. And it's so quiet. I mean, it's just amazing. A lot of people like the noise. You know, the, a lot of the bikers enjoy it. But listen, you can test drive this through Wednesday, is that what you said? That's correct. But you have to have a license, obviously, to do that and, uh, yeah. you know, and enjoy it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to come back to the station, give you a ride later. <laughs> I appreciate that.